On Monday, 5 October 2022, then commander of the EPDF Land Forces, Lieutenant General Mohose Kainerogaba, posted what later turned into a series of controversial comments on Twitter which attracted an uproar from Kenyans. In the first tweet, General Mohose posted that it would take him not more than two weeks to capture Kenya's capital Nairobi. A day later, President Chiri Museveni, who is also the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, cracked the whip and dropped General Mohose as commander land forces, replacing him with Major General Kayanja Mohanga, who he promoted to Lieutenant General. And a few hours later, the president released a statement apologizing to Kenyans and Ugandans for General Mohose's behavior of interfering in the internal affairs of another country. In the statement, President Museveni said, and I quote, it's not correct for public officers, be they civilian or military, to comment or interfere in the internal affairs of brother countries. The only available mechanism is the peer review mechanism of the African Union, not public comments. I, I think that the bigger problem is how our own institutions are incapable of dealing with a person who is son of a president. President Museveni also explained why he dropped Mohose as land forces chief but promoted him to four-star general. He said, and I quote, This mistake is one aspect where he has acted negatively as a public officer. There are, however, many other positive contributions the general has made and can still make. Because this is a guy who had spent almost more than a week or so rumbling on social media. Uh, talking about countries in the region. I, I don't understand how that earns you a promotion. Many, many soldiers retired recently. And the fact that they retired, it means there's a lot of space up there. And now he's a full general. So it means he can sit on the table of the generals and make a decision as well. I mean, and deliberate on national issues and security issues. So for me, I think he has, rather than demotion, he has been promoted. And I think you, you'll be seeing him very soon <laughs> occupying another position. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also released a statement distancing government from General Mohose's comments. Some analysts say the apology is part of the damage control to maintain good diplomatic relations between Kenya and Uganda. I don't want to read so much in the treat because it is even impossible for um, Uganda to, <laughs> to invade another country, uh, especially Kenya. Uh, that will be a suicide, political suicide. So in this particular case, I would not even call it a diplomatic crisis. I would not call it even a major crisis. I said this is a matter that was resolved within 24 hours. The Kenyans have, have clearly understood the position of the government of Uganda vis-a-vis -vis our continued historical relationship with them. And uh, I'm confident that uh, as we wake up this morning, uh, we are back to uh, business as usual. If General Mohose was not the seventh son, most likely he would either be in jail or he would be, yeah, he would be somewhere either in jail or under house arrest. Because we have had those cases of uh, General uh, Sejusa, uh, uh, General Tumukunde, uh, first similar consequences for lesser crimes. The Defense Minister and UPDF spokesperson also said that under no circumstances can Uganda attack Kenya. No general can declare war except the head of state and the parliament. Ali Mivole, NTV.